This problem comes from Cambridge University's entrance exam step, and this is in fact step one, which they've now um, discontinued, but this was in theory the easiest step exam, but even then it's still quite tricky. I normally start with step one problems with my students so they can ease their way into solving these more tricky problems. Let's have a look at this. So we have f of x equals ax minus x cubed over one plus x squared, where a is a constant. We wanna show that if a is at least nine eighths, then, f prime of x is at least zero for all x. Okay, so if a is at least this constant 9 eighths, which seems kind of random, then the derivative is at least zero. And what's interesting about this step problem is it doesn't have parts. It doesn't have part one, part two, part three. It's just one question. So let's just maybe follow what our intuition tells us and try and differentiate this. And now I can actually see a bit of a problem. When I differentiate this, I'm going to get a very horrible expression with maybe a degree five or six term involved. So I don't really want that. So maybe I can first simplify this fraction. So f of x is ax minus x cubed, but I can write this as x squared um, times x over x squared plus one. And I wanna kind of simplify this fraction if I can. So ax minus, let's just turn this to an x squared plus one times x. But of course, then I need to subtract off an x. Um, so, of course, if you expand this, you can verify this still equals x cubed. Um, and then I'm going to divide this by x squared plus 1. So this just becomes ax minus x uh, and then plus x over x squared plus 1. And that's a little bit more manageable. Okay, great. So now what's the derivative of f of x? Well, it's going to be a minus 1 plus, and then I'm just going to use the quotient rule on this guy. So it's going to be x squared plus 1 times 1 minus x times 2x all over x squared plus 1 squared, which is equal to a minus 1 plus, and if I simplify the top here, I'm going to get minus x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 1 squared, like so. Okie dokie, great. So this is what f prime of x is. It's still kind of a messy expression, and we want to show that this thing here is always at least 0, provided a is at least 9 eighths. Well, let's think about this. If a is at least 9 eighths, then a minus 1 is going to be at least 1 eighth. So what we need to do is show that this thing that we're adding on is at least a negative eighth. So we can say that f prime of x is at least 0 if and only if this thing that we have here, let's assume that a equals 9 over 8, we want this thing here to be always at least negative an eighth. So minus x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 1 squared, we need that to be at least a minus 8. Okay, well now let's just cross multiply this and try and solve this. So this is if and only if we have minus 8x squared plus 8 is at least negative x squared plus 1 squared. And just checking here that 8 and this thing here are positive, so it's fine to cross multiply them. Now if you expand and simplify both sides, this guy stays the same. And this guy is going to become minus x to the 4 minus 2x squared minus 1. Now we just bring everything onto the left side. We're going to get x to the 4 minus 6x squared plus 9 is at least 0. And this is quite nice. This is just x squared minus 3 squared, which is at least 0. So, sorry, I've forgotten my if and only ifs here. But that is obviously true because the left hand side is something squared and so it has to be at least 0. And so therefore, if we backtrack all of these uh, inequalities, we get back down to this thing here being true. And so therefore, f prime of x is always going to be at least zero, provided that a is at least nine.